Hello everybody, it's time with the game we're playing in the horror games and today we're playing the storage room incident by Heavy Dreams. We jump right into the game, so let's read the description now. You are a night security guard working in a grocery store, but you keep hearing loud banging noises in the storage room. It's time to investigate or, you know, call the police or something. This is your first game made in three days, yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, let me note that this game is made with Unreal Engine and Unreal Engine tends to not like my potato computer, so expect, you know, jitters and glitches and whatnot. Do we have a flashlight with us? Yeah, we do. Mannequins? Really? We go for mannequins? Okay, okay. A QR code that I'm not going to scan. Huh. Gas canister. Mannequin didn't seem to have moved. Hmm, sounds like it's nothing. I should probably leave. Uh, I don't know if this is going to turn out great for you, mate. Oh, the mannequin did move. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay, let's leave. La 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 la, everything is okay, no monsters there. Nothing's gonna get me, tra la 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 la. Day 2. Nothing happened last night, but I heard this loud banging noise again. I will investigate again just to be sure. Ah, bye. I can still hear the loud banging noise, so... Yeah. Oh no! A mannequin is dead! And also, did the lay this one is dancing. Did the layout change? Bottles of water. At least we have a good rhythm in it. Can't go there. What am I supposed to do, though? I check. Oh no, that's not good. That's... That's never good. Please resume the banging. Banging... The whatever you... Item you were hitting, that's what I mean. Don't... You know... Get it wrong. I'm going to leave. Yes? No, I guess. Day 3. The loud banging noise came from the other side of the wall. It suddenly stopped after I got closer. What could it be? I also felt weird presence, blah 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 blah. Okay. So far, really nothing happened. Also, for an Unreal Engine game, it runs pretty smoothly on my potato computer. Oh, there's something new back there now, and where are all the mannequins? Oh, come on. They were just having a good time down here. One of them was dancing. Yeah. A new path opened and also... You can... Go here. I don't know what scares me more. The fact that a new path opened or that we could go back there. No entry, no removal. Black hands. Weird symbols. That's always good. What the hell is a strange structure? I don't know. I was supposed to go back now. I guess so. I see something signing. Is it the trash can we saw earlier? Oh no. Oh no. What was that mooing sound? 
Oh. Oh. Oh, poop. And we repeat the third day. I saw the hand marks on the floor. Is the demon, the monster, the alien, whatever it is, invisible? And just leaves those giant dark hand marks. Very interesting. Reminds me a bit of uh, Death Stranding. But yeah, I still haven't played that game. It wasn't a bad game, it was a really good game, but you have to be in a very specific mood to play it, and I never seem to get myself in that mood. Let's try this again. Yeah, what the hell is a strange structure? We leave, and we have to dodge the invisible handy demon. I wouldn't mind the sprint function, so keep that in mind. No, 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 I saw your grabby hands down there. You know, at this point, you don't return to the basement. You just call somebody, an exterminator, I don't know, a priest. Day 4. What the hell was that? I spoke to the manager, but he found nothing. Now I feel like I'm crazy. I'll go check again. Ah, oh boy. How bad do you need this job? Is it worth dying for? No job is worth dying for. Unless you're saving people. I'm still a bit weirded out by the fact we can access that corner. The strange structure, giant handprints, now this way is open. Yay! Oh no. Are we in for a long chase sequence? Oh no, oh no. That's a straight up zombie, is it? Yeah. Oh no! What the hell happened? Okay. Let's go through all of this again. And also... Yeah, okay, it's a classic trope that the path we just came down from uh, has turned into a dead end, but what was I supposed to do there? Let's see this time. Should I go this way? And turn around and run. Let's go this way this time. Oh, 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 oh. I'm kind of controlling the game. It's become a runner game. I lost again. Ah, poop, give me a moment. Back at the spot where we're supposed to trigger the zombie. I hope I get it right this time. And boom, 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 you go. The game will now turn into a runner game. Avoid the obstacles. Again, dead end, come on. Let's try a third time. I don't know, there's something I don't like when the way the camera works changes. Like here, for example. Let's keep heading straight. Get out of here, SAP. No, no. Day five. That's it. I will change my job. Flip the seat. I don't care if I don't understand what's going on. I don't want to die. Okay, common sense. 
So this night security guard, you know, wised up to the situation and just quit and good for him. That was the storage room incident by Heavy Dreams. I can't say I didn't like it. I, I didn't like it. I really, really liked it. And he used quite a few tropes like uh, the mannequins, the invisible demon, the zombie, the chase sequence, the shifting uh, space, like there was not a room here, now it is, or uh, the path we just came down from, turning to a dead end and all that. All in all, it was a good game, and especially for your first game made in three days, as you mentioned in the description, this is really, really, really well made. I see great potential here, my friends, so keep working on your skills, and you will make even better games in no time. Everybody go to the link down in the description below, download this game, try it out for yourselves, help any developers get their games out there. I will see you all in the next one. Until then, stay safe, and have fun.